Good morning guys. Uh, it's a nice day already. It's 64 degrees. We're supposed to be hitting 80 some degrees here in PA. Um, we're still in pretty early spring so some of the bass didn't spawn yet. I'd say a lot of them didn't. Uh, so hopefully we're gonna find some pre-spawn bass this morning. I'm gonna fish an hour before church and uh, <clears throat> we'll see if I can get some in this afternoon. All right so Yesterday, I was trying to catch some bluegills and some crappie. Um, but we got some rain and things just didn't work out for me. But I stopped and got these minnows at a bait shop called B&L Bait and Tackle, which is a local guy down the road. He has his own little tackle shop here. A nice guy he'll help you out get you whatever you need so if you're ever out in the laurel highlands come check him out we're just going to cast that little mini out there and see if he'll get any bites i'm hoping he does whatever i don't use i'm just going to dump in the pond so hopefully they get eaten up either way but another reason i wanted to come out today was to test out my new setup. Um, I got a Shimano SLX MGL. Um, I got in the 8.2 gear ratio, which means it's a fast reel. It picks up line really fast, which makes it good for top water. And I got the new Six Sense Vega Frog Rod in the 7.3 Heavy. So last time I was here, all of my bass were sitting right along this edge and a lot of these cattails and a lot of these weeds. Um, whenever I caught that 4.8 pounder out of this pond last year, it was sitting right along that far edge over there in the weeds. Um, so this is a really muddy pond to begin with. So I just wonder if the fish don't really sit in the middle of this pond like normal and they sit on the edge. But this is my first time getting to use this rod, so I won't be surprised if I, uh, Definitely back, get it backlashed a couple times. Yep, first cast. Um, but this is also my first time using a Shimano Baycaster. Oh, I got one, I got one, I'm hooked up. I just lost it. Oh my gosh, it was a nice fish too. I was tangled up in these freaking weeds, man. I wonder if he'll bite again. Right here in this opening. Oh man. I was tangled up in these cattails and didn't know what to do. Oh crap, man. Oh, that really gets the heart pumping. Let's see if we can get it back in here. There he is, he hit it. I got him. I got him this time. Oh, I don't. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What the heck is going on? I doubt it'll hit two times or three times. But that's what I mean. All these bass just sit right here in a row. Whether he's on a bed or something. He got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, this is a big bass. This is a big freaking bass. Oh, let's go. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, I'll grab the line. Oh my gosh, an absolute freaking tank. Oh, let's freaking go. I barely had him hooked. Oh my freaking gosh. Look at this huge freaking fish, man. Oh, look at the freaking mouth on this guy. I barely had him hooked. Look at that, right in the corner. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Holy crap, look at that freaking guy. Oh my gosh. Right on the freaking, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, I wanna get a weight on this guy. Oh, I wanna get a weight on him. Oh my gosh, come here. Come here, buddy, come here. I'll get you a weight, get a weight on you, and we'll get you back, oh my gosh. Oh, let's go get a weight on him. I knew there'd be something here this morning. 
Let's get a weight on this freaking guy. Oh my gosh, he is huge. Get a weight, get a picture, and get him back. That's what we do. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at this freaking fish. Oh my gosh. This is exactly what I was hoping for this morning. Oh, let's go. Let's get my bag open. Okay. Get my bag open quick. Get my scale out. Make sure it's zero. Okay. Let's clip him. 4.8. Let's freaking go. Look at this stud of a fish, man. On the Vega frog rod. Oh my gosh, let's go. That's what we do, man. That's what we do. Oh, let's get this guy back in the water. I don't even know how long he is. Let's just measure him really quick and then I, I'm gonna get him back in the water. Cause I don't like keeping him out this long. So this fish is about 21 inches. Let's freaking go. 21 inches, Let's. what's his girth? I'm just curious. I don't like keeping him out, but I'm going to. So his girth is 15 inches. Oh my. Okay, let's get him back. Oh, let's freaking go. Let's get him back. Oh, let's freaking go, baby. Just like that, a freaking monster. Let's freaking go, man. I knew there would be nice fish here today. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go, yes. Oh, freaking right, baby. Whoa. What bucket just fell? Oh, look at that. I already got one. I recast it out there and I got one. I don't know what it is. It's a little bass. Look at that. I just I moved uh I moved the bobber up a little bit. Look, these guys are freaking hungry. They need some more bait options. But that's what I mean when I was saying about how white they are. They are very pale fish, and that's just because of the muddy water. Chubby overboard! Uh, uh, uh. Oh no! He's down there! Whoa! Ow, I fell! Ow! That hurt! Ow, I fell! I fell and now I'm snagging rocks! That hurt! Ow! I'm gonna fall again! Dang it! Ow, that hurt! I got him. Yep. Let's go, baby. That's what we're here for. Bro, grab a net for me, man. Watch, watch the hook, watch the hook. Don't grab the nine. Don't grab the line. Here, up. Let's go, baby. That's what we're here for. I caught that. Yeah, this wouldn't be possible today without Blake. 
All right, let's get Mr. Pike out and take a picture with him, because he's a fat old boy. Yep, yep. Look at that. Nice old boy. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Nice kickoff. 